that. I'm gutted I lost track of time there because I nearly, nearly finished this page. So the last little bit for this, I might have a reaction to. Uh, now there'll be friction for both of these. So I'll have like a frictional force for the car and a frictional force for the trailer. But what's missing from here is tension in the coupling. Tension from the trailer and tension from the car. So tension and tension. So we're going to acceleration going that way. There. Right, next page then. Right, well, I was hoping to get that page finished then in one video. Never mind. So it says draw a clear diagram uh, showing all the forces. Draw an arrow to clearly indicate when you're taking a positive. Uh, resolve horizontally and vertically, parallel and perpendicular, and solve. So equilibrium. So every object continues in a state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line or is acted on by a resultant external force. Right then. So an object has got a zero resultant force if it's stationary or it's got a constant velocity. So a constant velocity in my acceleration is zero. So if I use F equals MA, force is mass times acceleration. If I'm saying that my, my acceleration is zero, I'm saying that my force is zero. Right, so let's have a look at this one then. So let's look vertically. So if it's equal to zero, my up forces take away my down forces are equal to zero. So in this case, I've got 50 going up and I've got y going down and 10 going down and that's equal to zero. So that would make sense that y is 40 newtons. There. I'll just do a bit of a rearrange. That's a zero, not a 10, you donkey. I was thinking of taking away the 10 when I wrote that down then, sorry. Cross that one. So horizontally now, same idea, it's not going anywhere or it's got a constant acceleration. So I might choose going left to right as my positive. So positive direction minus whatever could be slowing it down is equal to zero. So 50 plus 10 minus x is equal to zero. 60 newtons is equal to x. So all right, so that's on 2 minutes 40 now. I'll be careful this one. So example two, let's have a look at this one. So similar idea, but now it's not in um, equilibrium. So all these I'd use in F equals MA, but now I'm going to properly use F equals MA. So let's have a look. So body moves horizontally with a constant velocity. Now then, vertically, it's not lifting off the ground and it's not ploughing through the floor. So vertically, it's equal to zero. But constant velocity is also that the acceleration is zero. So I'm still on F equals zero, so that's nice. So I'm going to do up take away down is equal to zero. So y plus y is y plus y minus 2,000 is equal to zero. Take the 2,000 over, I've got a 2y, so y is 1,000 newtons. Let's look horizontally now. So horizontally, this is our resultant force, force in the direction of travel minus force opposing it is equal to zero. I could say right is equal to left, or right is equal to left. So P minus 300 is zero, P is 300 newtons. There you go. That's quite nice and straightforward. I'm going to stop it there though, so I don't get lost in it all.